Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Seismic analysis is very important in all types of building. In India, we have to follow the code IS 1893, which is specifically meant for earthquake resistant design of structures. As per IS 1893 2016, we have five seismic zones in India. Do we ever think that why do we have five seismic zones in India? There are many reasons behind that why we are having five seismic zones in India. In this video, we are going to discuss about why do we have five seismic zones in India, what is the reason behind that and what are all the factors we have to consider as per IS 1893-2016. So without further delay, let's begin now. First, let's start with what is earthquake force. As we know, earthquake is a natural disaster. It mainly depends on the ground acceleration. We cannot predict the actual ground acceleration since this seismic activity is a natural disaster. So we have to predict this acceleration, ground acceleration or the seismic force based on the historical data what are all the earthquake happened in the past history so according to that we have to decide so this much is the intensity of the seismic force or acceleration and seismological characteristics of soil is also plays a major important role in finding out the seismic intensity what do we find out in seismic design as per is 1893 2016 we mainly find out the base year, design base year which is given in the code so design base year bb is equal to ah multiplied by w here ah is the design horizontal acceleration coefficient so here you should understand this acceleration coefficient plays a major important role in order to find out the design base shear and w is the seismic weight of the building so here this acceleration is very important and also w is the dead weight of the building dead load of the building so acceleration and dead load we have to find out to arrive the design base shear so this is the concept of seismic calculation as per IS 1893-2016. Based on the design philosophy of earthquake uh, design, we have to know these three things. The earthquakes will happen in three ways. One is minor, another one is moderate and another one is strong. So here as an engineer, we have to decide that whether we have to design the building as an earthquake proof building or we, we have to design the building without considering the earthquake effect. So if we design the building without considering the earthquake effect, then it will become a major disaster. Because if the building collapses, it will become a major disaster. If we design the building as an earthquake proof building, then it will become too expensive because we have to use larger sizes of structural members. So that will become expensive and also it will not be convenient for the use of the building. So in this case we have to design the building as a earthquake resistant building so that is the main thing we have to design the structure as a earthquake resistant structure in minor shaking the main members of the building that carry the vertical and horizontal load should not be damaged so this is the concept of minor shaking in moderate shaking main members sustain repairable damages that means the main structural members sustain repairable damages in strong shaking the main members may undergo irreparable damages but the building should not collapse so this is our main motive in a strong earthquake the main members may undergo irreparable damages but the building should not collapse this is the major design philosophy of earthquake design in addition to this we have brittle failure and ductile failure brittle failure means when the force is acting on the structure due to the intensity of force the structure tend to collapse for example you can uh, take a chalk piece if you apply the force sudden force on the chalk it will it tend to break into pieces the same happen to the structure whereas in ductile structure 
it will have the capacity to allow the structure to sway back and forth without collapse for example if you take a piece of uh, nail or a piece of rod it it has some ductility in it if you apply the force it will not break into pieces suddenly so that is the reason we designed the earthquake resistant structure as a ductile structures so it will allow the structure to sway back and forth before collapse so in earthquake design our focus is mainly to find out the design base shear design base shear we have to find out based on the acceleration so this acceleration is not simply we can take any value or uh, the code is having the acceleration values we can take that and we can find out the design base shear so this is having many other factors like you know zone factors and uh, time period response reduction factor importance factor so these are all factors are included in the calculation of acceleration the code is having all these values depend upon some factor so that is why after many research and investigation the code is having the values for these factors depends upon the soil type and the location and seismic characteristics of the place so based on this soil type location and seismic characteristics of the place the code has divided seismic zones of india into five seismic zones so this is the reason why we have five seismic zones in india if you look into this map which is given in is 1893 2016 we have four zones starting from zone 2 3 4 and 5 because in zone 1 there is no place so that is why there are only four zones from zone 2 to zone 5 from this map you can come to know what are all the places are coming under zone 2 zone 3 and zone 4 and zone 5 for example if you take this srinagar this is coming under zone 4 and if you take jaipur it is coming under zone 2 so here zone 2 is the least seismic zone whereas zone 5 is the place where you have high seismic intensity in anakshar e we have the town and the zone for example if you take ahmedabad which comes under zone 3 and if you take chandigarh it comes under zone 4 and the zone factor values are also given over here. as i told you before the acceleration factor depends on many values like zone factor importance factor response reduction factors and all so according to this zone number only we have to take the value of the factors zone factor importance factor response reduction factors and all and then we can proceed the calculation of finding out the acceleration similarly we have other cities if you take shillong that comes under zone 5 which is the high seismic intensity zone so friends i hope you all have clearly understood that why we have five seismic zones in india if you really like the content hit the like button and also share it with your friends if you have any queries your queries are always welcome please do post the queries in the comment box and also don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching